Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, basically I was having trouble with the Skyrim creation kit and I thought I'd make a video on it as uh, I had a lot of trouble loading the DLCs and the game itself uh, with the multiple master files and some of the plugins. Um, it was my first time using it. Uh, I had used the the GEC for the Fallout New Vegas before uh, but as it was my first time using the Skyrim I had a lot of trouble so I thought if I upload a video it might help someone out hope it does. Um, so basically some of the first errors are uh, here when you load multiple master files I'll show you how to sort that one out. Uh, that is basically when you open the creation kit and if you already haven't got uh, the creation kit I'll put a link into the official website um, where it tells you how to get it and download it and it will be through Steam I think for all of you that bought it through Steam. Um, but when you open it up for the first time and you use the little open icon here um, and if you bought the legendary edition like I did uh, probably most of you have because it's quite cheap at the moment um, say if you wanted to make a mod that had all the, the DLCs uh, like that and you click load it will come out of this error or uh, invalid file selection and or, or warning um, and it, it says multi -ma master files selected for load load operation aborted uh, that is because you need to change uh, some of the settings in your Skyrim uh, notepad file so basically what you need to do uh, go to where you, basically where you've installed Skyrim so if it's through Steam and it's on your C drive it'll be in program files and then Steam but um, I've installed my Skyrim on a second secondary hard drive uh, well internal but it's a, a different hard drive so it will be the same for you but you ha you might have to go for the C drive uh, then Steam library Steam apps and it, it say common and then and these will be all your games that you've downloaded through Steam uh, go in the Skyrim folder and you'll see uh, this, this file right here uh, it's, if you double click on it it should open up in in notepad if it doesn't just right click on it uh, and click on open with notepad uh, basically once you've done that to sort out the multiple master files uh, warning if you I put these in a notepad uh, I'll put these um, in the description as well if it's easier for you um, so if you if you copy that Control C, let me know up now. Uh, and then, just under the general tab, it should be the first one. Just paste it there and set it to one. And that basically means it will allow you to open and load multiple uh, master files in the creation kit of Skyrim. So all the DLCs, because they're uh, stated as master files. Uh, once you've done that, go ahead and file save it. And then, uh, just close that for now. I'll show you the other error. So once you've done the multiple master file thing, it should let you uh, select all of these. It will still come up with an error, as you can see. The down here is loading files. It usually gives an error about 70%. I think it does. Last time it did for me, uh, and this is where I was having trouble because it's my first time with the Skyrim Skyrim creation kit. Anyway, here we go. So you get this error, localization, error opening or reading string files, strings file. Basically, to sort this out, just click ignore, yes to all, and then it will crash. That That's the error. And to fix that, basically it's this here. Uh, by the way, this is for the legendary edition of Skyrim. So if you don't have Dawnguard, Heart, uh, Dragonborn, and the rest of the DLCs, you might want to take take one off but basically they're all separated by commas so um, if you go back to where you install Skyrim uh, Steam library uh, and the same file that we opened before the Skyrim editor dot int it uh, so open with and then if you if you just copy up to there 
and then go in the notepad, Control F. It will come up with Find, and if you click Control V, Find Next, it will find it for you instead of you scrolling through. And hit, as you can see, basically, you got the update uh, dot .bsa, which was in the creation kit. So, and they're all separated by commas. So what you could do, if I put this in the description, just literally copy all of that. Uh, and overwrite it here, paste, and don't put comma comma at the end. As you can see, they're all separated by by commas there. So file, save, and close that down. And where is that? And now, if we if we've done it correct, it should sh they should all load up. So go ahead and open your creation kit. Open, uh, double click on all the the master files. Uh, now with these, if you have the high res texture pack, I have. I don't think you can load them up. You might be able to. I'm not sure. But when I do, it, it comes out of all sorts of errors. So uh, I've just left that out. But I'm not sure if you need to load them in anyway. That's that's past my knowledge. But as you can see, all the master files are selected with all the DLCs and the update. Uh, so if you click OK, they should all work, and the, no errors should come up. Uh, um, a few might, but let's just in general okay with this creation kit. It just happens. It's just a few bugs with it that Best Vader never fixed. Like this one here. It, it's nothing bad. Nothing will bad happen. It's just a bug in the software, I think. So just click Yes to all. Uh, and the same with this one as well. And that one. They generally don't mean anything. You should be okay. They're just normal. Um, and then down here it will kind of like freeze for a uh, few minutes. It depends how fast your computer is to load up all the files. It generally takes about three to five minutes. Usually it is quite quick actually. But after you've done both of those, you should be ready to go. Uh, it should load up master files and all your DLC contents if you bought the uh, legendary. But like I said, if if you haven't bought the legendary, just take out the ones you haven't or add in the ones you have. Uh, and then it should work. But I'll, I'll try and post those in the description for you. So you can just copy and paste them in. Come on, load. Usually it does take a while because it's the, the master file for Skyrim, so they, they are quite big. They tend to take a while. And it, it, it will say not responding, so don't click on it because you might can pop up with the like the window that says look for solutions online because it hasn't actually crashed it's just because it's loading because it's a big file <laughs> so we'll just wait for this to load just to show you that it works and that this was the solution for me there you go, it's all loaded. So you can see all the items are in here and uh, I've got all the, the master files uh, loaded. And basically, there you go, uh, you should be all sorted, ready to go. And that should get you up and running on the creation kit for Skyrim. So, uh, any comments, put them in the comment section and I'll try to answer them. Uh, but thanks for watching, see you.